Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another Feed the Beast video. Uh, this time we are going to use the same machine that I built uh, to power a, a query. Uh, and uh, we are going to use our, my storage room here and uh, sort out the, uh, pr the stuff that the query brings up. So the uh, valuables and some of the uh, ores. I'm not going to do all of them, but uh, this is just to give you an idea how to do it. Uh, so let's get started. First, let's place our, our quarry somewhere. Uh, maybe here. Okay, and uh, we need to pipe it. So I will use this cobblestone pipe just for, uh, for an example. And let's place a chest here. <clears throat> now all, all, everything that the quarry produces will end up in this chest. And uh, we will use this sorting machine to draw out the items that we uh, we are going to sort into our storage area there. And uh, let's pipe this up a bit, like so. And uh, next we can we need to separate the items that we need to uh, we need to uh, what's the word we need to smelt pulver pulverize and smelt or turn into dust and smelt uh, before we can store it in our in our storage room so for that I'm going to use this uh, pulverizer and powered furnace you can use the a macerator and uh, electric furnace from the uh, industrial craft if you want. These are uh, from the uh, thermal expansion pack which is uh, great since we can use the same power than the uh, quarry in, in there. So let's pre pretend that this would end up in that quarry also this uh, line. Or maybe I can draw it in, in there at, at some point. <coughs> Okay, so we can use that same power to power that, the quarry and the uh, machines that will process our ores. So first up is a pulverizer. That's like a macerator. It will turn one ore into two dusts. And uh, the dusts then we can uh, uh, smelt and get ingots. And as you can see, this pipe isn't connected into, into that input. Or at, at now it, it's an output. Uh, you can configure these uh, pulverizers and all of the machines that comes with the uh, <coughs> thermal expansion in here. So that's the top uh, side, left, right, bottom and that's the back side and you can see the color, color codes in here. So now that's an output so that's why it doesn't connect these uh, machines that do, does not connect to the red power 2 but it will connect to the uh, Buildcraft stuff if you, if you want to use that. Oh, sorry, it will connect once I... It will not output into that, let's say it that way. Uh, when I change this side, that it's an input, like that. And that side, so the left side is now output. This is the output and this is the input. You can see that this is connected. And since this, this is the output, and uh, I'm going to place the uh, powered furnace next to it, and I set the same in here, so the right side is uh, the input and the left side is the output. These will now be in connection, so the uh, dust, dusts will automatically end up in here. But now this won't connect in the, into the red uh, power 2 pneumatic tubing. So there's a couple of options, we could use the cobblestone transport pipe, but uh, those, those uh, sucks. So I don't want to. Instead, I'm going to place a chest, chest there. So now these, the ingots will end up in this chest, uh, which we will use like a buffer, and then we will use a transposer to draw out the items. There's a, a two ways to to do this. I'm going to lead the ores or the ingots back into this chest, and then the sorting machine will sort them again. So send them that way and uh, place them in the, in the chests. The other option is to use another sorting machine here, power it up and uh, 
let it sort the uh, ingots. But uh, the, for this this video, I'm going to do it this way. You might want to do the, do it the other way. Uh, okay, so let's pipe this back in here, and next, uh, and let's place a timer in here so that the transposer will draw out the items from there. Next, we need to power this uh, sorting machine. Uh, I'm going to have to grab a battery box, I forgot it, like that, and that, and the solar panels. So I'm going to use the solar panels for this one, and uh, let's store the, the, the power into that uh, battery box, so that this will work at night, and uh, place some... This is way too much, but uh, since I'm in creative, I can do it. And uh, this will now produce energy from the sun, and uh, store it in this battery box, and this uh, sorting machine will draw out the uh, uh, power from this battery box, and apparently from this <laughs> solar panel. But uh, once this that got, gets the power, we can uh, uh, continue, or we can continue placing the uh, rest of the pneumatic tubing in here. So we need to pipe this, all of this, from this one tube into those chests. So let's do it for example like this. And I, I will probably have to change this so that everything works like, like uh, I want after I have uh, started to color these. And uh, let's place the last one like so. And you can expand this that way if you want or that way and uh, do, do this same kind of stuff. Okay, let's now start uh, color coding our stuff. So I want I, I have two, one, two, three, four, five, six, and two, four, six, and seven. And uh, luckily I have seven in here. <laughs> <coughs> and uh, I'm going to sort out e everything. So let's say that the... Uh <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, the white one, the white color is the tin because it's white. Uh, orange would be the iron. It's kind of like orange in this ore. And uh, what's next? The yellow is going to be the gold. And what next? Oh, th that those are the wrong ones. So I made a mistake here. I need to. So let's say that the uh, pink color here is the ores that we want to uh, process. And uh, then the uh, white one is the processed tin, like that. And the orange one is the iron, uh, th that's the, uh, uh, the yellow is the gold, and the, yeah. And then next we have, uh, I need black and blue and and the cyan. So black is uh, sorry, blue is appetite. And the cyan was there. That's the diamonds, of course. And then we have the uh, the red and black. Okay, so red is redstone, and the black was the last one, I think. Mm, yeah. Okay. So let's grab a. Do I have two red brush? Yeah, I need one more brush. So the uh, magenta one, so we can color code those. And I have two yellows, so let's do this, and uh, we can start color code coding those uh, pipes. So first the magenta. So everything that is magenta gets the magenta color is delivered there. So the uh, these ones, uh, I need to get some <laughs> uh, ingots in here. So I need iron, gold, and the tin ingots. So I can place these in here. So iron was the, that one, gold was the yellow, and the tin was the white. Okay, so let's say that iron should be in this chest right here. Uh, 
what was the uh, yellow so gold in here oh, so the tin there uh, gold there and the uh, iron there uh, next we have uh, redstone diamonds and coal and what was left orange yellow one two three four five six watch what's <laughs> what am i missing oh yeah the blue so the appetite gets the uh, last one in here i don't have to color all of this but i just want to and uh, as you probably can tell uh, this doesn't work so i i need to place one more pneumatic tubing in here this is the re the reason for that is that uh, if if the uh, if it's like this the uh, red uh, sorry the black and the uh, red items won't never get there because that prevents them from uh, getting there I could also do this so I don't have to color like that and now the intersection works. Maybe that's the easier easier one. Let's let's do that. These are colored. That is colored. That's on. And uh, sorting machine is full of power. And now we can test it. So let's place one of each in here of these ores and uh, start this. So you can uh, set the sorting machine. I'll configure the sorting machine on, on, on what w it would do or will do. Uh, these are the uh, types of uh, configurations it have. Uh, I, I don't remember everything. This is that it, it will sort them out individually, so one column at, at, at a time. Uh, and this this is uh, any item. So that's what we are going to use. And uh, this is configures the way that the uh, sorting machine will, will work so when it will draw out the items I don't remember what this is but I know that that's all the time <laughs> or when it gets an item so as you can see all of these gets a uh, color coded and they get thrown into that polarizer oh I need to <laughs> give it some power I forgot about that so let's bring this from here and into both of those and as now it you can see that the uh, it's getting the uh, M chase, same here. And uh, those guys will bounce around <laughs> some in here. Okay, so the gold ore is getting pulverized, and soon it will be uh, turned into a dust, and it will get in here. Oh, that was the iron. <laughs> the graphical us user interface is in the uh, most practical one. Okay, so here comes an ingot. That's probably an iron ingot. Let's see, yeah. And now it gets another color code. So it was orange. And it will go into the orange slot. Cool. And next one is an uh, iron also. And here comes a cold. And uh, there comes the tin on the last one there. The gold gets the yellow color code and the tin gets the white so everything works now we can try it with these guys so red blue cyan and black everything works as planned let's see moment of truth appetite continues to the blue redstone gets in there iron there and uh, code there so that this works that is cool so let's throw a bunch of stuff so you can see it in full speed uh, if you have more than this amount of items the seven or you need more you could uh, place two now you can uh, place multiple items in these columns uh, as we did in here but you can then uh, sort them into uh, or individual chests but you could have another sorting machine pointing that way and another that way another up and then you can sort all of the items that comes from the uh, quarry you you could use this to 
uh, to lead a uh, cobblestone dirt gravel into their own chests using another sorting machine because with this setup this is full now if I had placed another sorting machine here then this will be would be uh, there would be a three uh, columns uh, left so I could <coughs> I could use this for another items but uh, on this uh, setup this is the way that it works going to cut down a bit of those so we can see something else happening but yeah this all gets delivered that's some, probably my uh, experiments there all of these should have yeah that was when I uh, made this I tested it of course so <coughs> okay so everything gets worked up the ingots gets in the, in the uh, machines and the uh, the valuables that you don't need to process gets into the, the core chests there comes the gold ingots gets into their chest and uh, so on and so on okay so that was pretty much it for this episode uh, uh, like I said if you need more uh, more ways to uh, more items need, needs to be uh, sorted you can use another sorting machine in here and just place these to uh, the items that you want and color code them and um, lead them into the correct chests where you want but uh, this is ch shows you how to uh, do this and how especially do it with free energy using the cow cow milking machine here I'm not going to uh, go through what how to build this or what what this is uh, basically it turns the cow's milk into uh, MJ's using these uh, uh, biogas engines but uh, I will add a link to the video where I built that so you can check out how to make it okay so that's pretty much it I think yeah I think that that's it uh, thanks thank you guys for watching and uh, if you have any questions about this sorting machine or any sorting in general uh, throw me a message on the YouTube and uh, I will try to an answer them so uh, thanks for watching and uh, I see you on the next one